Ah. All right. So, toilet bowl, first annual toilet bowl, two thousand twenty-one. Dolphins win. We got us one. Sweet victory. All right. Lord of the latrine, whatever you want to call it, king of the doo-doo bowl, we won the game. Boy, was that game tough to watch if you are, if you are a football professional uh, watcher and you want to see good technique and good uh, execution, all right, on plays. If, if that's you, uh, then please, please uh, don't watch a game like that. If somebody told you that it was a closed game, watch it. Don't watch it. Okay? If you're just looking at the score and be like, oh, man, you know, I should watch it. Don't watch it. Okay? Don't, do, don't, don't, don't put yourself. Us fans of both the Texans and the Dolphins had to sit through all that. All right? Don't watch it. We, we let you know right now. This ain't a game you need to go replay, all right? You don't need to see the highlights. Don't go watch the highlights. Don't, none of that. This was for sure the worst game of the year by far. Now, before I talk about the worst game of the year by far for us, boy, did the Bills just have the worst game of the year for them. Now, Bills Mafia, I do love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all been showing me love. But y'all put up six points against... The Jaguars. But anyway, this ain't about them. So, um, yeah, we, we won the game. 17 to 9. We get up out of there with a W. All right. We got to get right back into the fold of things. Come Thursday. And guess what? You know what's so special about Thursday? I'm going to be there. Front and center. I'm going to be watching the game at the Dolphin Stadium, they're at Hard Rock. Me, my pops, my brother, my cousin, my uncle, uh, my aunt, we all going to head out to the game. We're going to watch the game front and center. Yes, I will be having like little video clips from before the game and like, you know, you know, little stuff like that. But of course, I'm not going to, first, first of all, I don't be streaming like that anyway. All right. Put it in the comment section if you want to see me stream more. All right, not that I'm going to be streaming at this game or like doing like a pre-game stream or anything like that. Probably not. But if you do want to see me stream more, go ahead and put it in a like. I mean, I said put it. Yeah, drop a like too. But put it in the comment section below. Y'all know I don't edit, so we leaving that in. Put it in the comment section below. But I will be doing like little small little things here and there. And then uh, obviously for this one, because I'm going to the game, I'm going to drop a preview on Wednesday. All right, I'm going to drop the preview on Wednesday. Then I'm going to drop the review on Friday. All right, I'm going to drop the review on Friday. It'll come out Friday afternoon-ish. Uh, I'll record it late Thursday night, but I'm not going to drop it until Friday because I'm not going to get back home till about 2 in the morning-ish because I live in the Central Florida area, Orlando area, and I have to drive three hours down, three hours back after the game, and if it's a bad, horrible loss, which it's going to be against the Ravens, so it might be, I ain't going to be in that good a mood for three hours in a car. Oh, man. But if we win, that three hours is going to feel like 45 minutes, I'll be honest. The turnpike, I mean, we, we're going to be flying up the turnpike, all right, safely. All right, but flying up the turnpike uh, to get home because we'll be so happy. We, we might not even feel that three hours. But anyway. I will be at the game, all right, so I'll be there front and center. I will say this, um, I don't know, last time I was at Hard Rock, it was for the, I think it was Duke and the Hurricanes, and we got blown out. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm good luck or not. Last time I was at a Dolphin game was back in 2005, okay? Okay against the Tennessee Titans. Uh, Ricky Williams had just came back. 
And he ran for over 100 yards, and they gave me we won. It was a Christmas game, all right? So uh, we'll see what happens, all right? We'll see. I'm one and one right now at Hard Rock. So we'll see what, well, it was at Hard Rock at the time. But anyway, uh, same grounds. So, yeah, anyway, I'm going to the game. Some people are probably like, well, why did you choose to go to a game this season? I bought tickets all the way back. I can't even, I think maybe July-ish, like somewhere in there. Like it was a long time ago. We bought tickets a long time ago. So yeah, we didn't know this. We were going to be there. Sorry. All right. We ain't giving the tickets up now. They're really good seats. All right. In the lower bowl. So I ain't never sat in the lower bowl before, just being honest. So I'm going to go enjoy my time. I'm going to just be out there, enjoy my time. But anyway, I'm talking about too much other stuff than the game. We suck, all right? And really, ain't much to talk about except for the fact that we suck. We just ain't as sorry as the Houston Texans. The Houston Texans, they they way worse than us. Now, I, I said that we was right here in the preview, which not too many people watch, and I understand why. We was right here, and they was right here. Yeah, my, we might be right here where we where I said we was at, but they about right there. Like it, it, they a little bit sorrier than us. Tyrod Taylor came back, looked like he forgot how to throw a football. Uh, we they had wide open guys. Let's just be honest. Score shouldn't been what it was. They had wide open guys. He was just missing them. It just didn't look good. Jacoby, let's talk about him real quick. Jacoby did some decent things, and boy did he do some dumb. Stupid things as well. Now, I know some people will be like, well, Tua be throwing dumb, stupid picks as well. Yeah, Tua does, but he wouldn't have thrown the same type of picks that this man threw. And his accuracy, we already know. Now, he did take some shots down the field. I didn't know he was going to be playing. Otherwise, I would have set this game up a little differently in my preview. Uh, but he did throw some things down the field. They just wasn't completed except for what he threw with. They wasn't really down the field, but he threw some balls to Gusecki that weren't accurate, but Gusecki made a heck of a catch on two passes, one-handed. Ah, give me that. That one back shoulder, hand, one-handed, nasty. All right, Waddle came up uh, um, and showed up today. Holland showed up, uh, Holland showed up besides that one third down drop. It was a decent game. It was a decent game. Running game wasn't there at all. We couldn't run the ball whatsoever against one of the worst run defenses in the league. Yes, we ran it 20 times. I'm cool with that. Guess it got 30 yards. We got Buff I'm not, not Buffalo. We got Baltimore coming in. We can't run a good ball against these boys. Against Baltimore, we're going to have a problem. All right, let's talk about Tua real quick. Tua has apparently an index or one of his fingers is fractured, swollen, they said that he couldn't. Uh, they said that he couldn't throw all of the passes that he would need to throw in a game. Now, my question is: He couldn't tw throw a twenty-yard pass. He couldn't throw a fifteen-yard pass because two ain't throwing nothing past that. Some of y'all ain't gonna like that joke. I'm not a comedian, but anyway, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see if he can get ready by Wednesday. Able to throw the passes that he needs to win a game, which whatever Flores, okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll see if he's able to do that. And I'm kind of kidding, kind of. All right, but we'll see how that goes with him. Defense, love what I'm seeing the last two games. I got one gripe, and I'll go over that. But blitzing, we did it. All right, we got sacks, we got a bunch of pressures, we got turnovers, we got fumbles. We did what we were supposed to do in this game. Holland got an interception. Uh, um, um, Holland got an interception. Love it. Uh, who else got one? Baker got one of the craziest interceptions. Kind of one that two or through last year, except something happened on the play. It was against the Rams. You remember he was running toward the sideline, and he thought he was throwing the ball into the ground, and it was intercepted, but then there was a penalty that kind of wiped it all out. But, yeah, Tyrod did the same thing. Baker got that interception. That was good for us. Okay. I got a gripe. We do all these blitzes and that's cool. I'm fine with it. Here's the thing I got a problem with. When you're blitzing on third down, okay, third and 10 plus, if you've got a zero blitz and you're not manning up playing press coverage, you are susceptible to getting beat 
on anything to the inside. That's what keeps happening to us. We keep doing zero blitzes, and we keep backing up every corner 10-plus yards. So guess what? If it's man coverage and not zone, and you're backed up 10-plus yards, the slant is going to be open, and that can get you a guaranteed 15 yards. That's what keeps happening to us. It happened to us last week. It happened to us this week. Fix it. All right? I just watched the end of the Baltimore game. Baltimore and uh, who did they play? I can't remember. They, they played somebody. It might come to me while I'm talking. They did the zero blitz. All right. And it was against uh, the, the name just came to me and it just escaped again. It was uh, the zero blitz and they had the men. Um, they had them press on the line of scrimmage so that there was nowhere for the quarterback Vikings. There was nowhere for Cousins to throw the ball. That's how you want to do it. Stop with this whole, we're going to, on 3rd and 14, 15, we're going to send an all-out blitz, but we're going to be back 10 yards. Because if anything happens, if you miss the tackle, if you're not there where you're supposed to be, if you get beat, it goes for long yardage. We've seen it too much. Stop doing it. That's the only gripe I have with the defense. They helped the team to nine points. Yes, they had guys that were wide open, but those balls weren't completed, so I can't talk about it. We did good on defense for the most part. We got a juggernaut coming in next week. They're going to be six and two to our two and six, two and seven, sorry, two and seven. We got a lot of work to do. All right. Now, here's what I will say. Here's the positive. If we can somehow get by these boys, which I highly doubt we'll be able to, we might be able to run the table. All right. We might be able to run the table. That's putting a positive spin on, on something that ain't too positive because we're a sorry team. All right. We'd have to get a lot better between now and Wednesday. Thursday, so before that type of, um, thought starts to really materialize, but we got a W. <sighs> it feels so good to actually get one. All right, we needed this W. It helps the morale of the fan base, helps the morale of the team. Yes, I wanted to see Tua because I still have an incomplete grade on Tua, but Jacoby came in there, he did his thing. If Tua was in there, I still believe we win the game. Probably even score maybe a, a little more points. In just my opinion, because Brissett just isn't that good. Neither is Tua, I understand, but he's better than Brissett. Plain and simple. All right? And, and Brissett has, he's had his time to prove it. It's not that he hasn't contributed to four of the losses himself. All right? So uh, he's had his time to prove it. We don't have to wipe that from our memory. All right? These, all these losses that we have ain't just on Tua. All right? Newsflash, he was gone for four weeks. So, well, three, he was gone for three weeks, but then he got knocked out in the Buffalo game. So I count that as a week as well. So, we got the next one coming up. We'll see what happens on that Thursday night game. We don't good do good on prime time, all right? But apparently we do decent on daylight savings. Got us an extra hour of sleep last night, and the Dolphins got a W. I'll say it was a good weekend. I'll holler at you in the next one. Fins up till we die. See y'all later.